Well, that's a big bloody ring. Hello, guys. Welcome to Unknown Horizon. I'm Daniel. I'm going to be your pilot and potential mental scarring for the next year or so. So, um, this is the Never Surrender. Um, yeah. Well, oh, I've got gravity switched on. What the fuck? Oh, anyway, right, let's get my ass in the air. Right, this is the Never Surrender por portion of Space Engineers. Over there is a space base, and I have got to defend it from uh, space pirates. I will get to this large structure here in a bit, but that's just a little bit later. This is my base. This was originally made in Creative on, like, an asteroid. And let's get these doors open. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. I have physically built this thing from scratch. I just import it from world to world. So that way, it's not exactly cheating. It's more mind confusing and, um, well, easier. There we go. That's instant depressurized, which is kind of not good. Well, anyway, I want to talk about this base first. You might notice some things different. Never Surrender is a, you've got a build from the ground up, there is no way to import or export or anything like that. It all has to be built on site. I didn't want that, because everybody's doing that. I wanted my own base that I physically put the man hours into to build, perfect and get on with. And uh, it's always built in the side of a mountain or an asteroid. And uh, oh yes, it's modified. God, I can't play this game without mods anymore. So, we've got the uh, large ship railguns, these are on pivots, and they're only here to protect me for the moment. Solar energy, which currently isn't working, because, um, well, the sun's gone. So, obviously, I've got to deal with that. Or is it on the other side of the asteroid? I think it might be on the other side. Fuck it, don't care. This is Betty, it's a small grid miner. She's uh, very nimble. She has her moments, of course. And uh, I do believe down there is Martha. She is a large welder. Well, she was a large miner, but I turned her into a whirler because it was just, hey, well, shits and giggles. This guy up here has been beaten up more times than Muhammad Ali. Yep, that's right. This guy is called Bert. He's currently switched off at the moment because uh, I flew him into something and he got, um, he got the crap kicked out of him. But, been put back together. Some of you might have already noticed, I have the nanites. I do believe these are a lot of fun to use. It makes building a shit site easier. So uh, currently what have I got on there? I've got the nanite thing itself, two power upgrades, two speed, oh no sorry four power upgrades because I need every ounce of power I can get unfortunately because uh, uranium is a bit hard to come by. And construction, there we go, done. So uh, yep, got it all sorted out, uh, all the air vents, repressurize this area. This is my main hangar. On a uh, planet surface I take this wall out and I fly things in, drop them down and then fly out, but in space it's needed, so it's all glass and I've got it all domed. I do like it. I do I do like a I do like a I do like like the look of a hangar esque hangar. There's just something weird about me. Everything's weird about me really. Well these doors are on controls. So uh oh sorry, I'll just get back out here. So these are emergency open which opens both doors and instantly depressurize and this one opens and closes wait oi how was that oh you bastard close the door on me see yeah it's closed that one opens this door this one opens that door bit of fly through there quickly sweet as so that should start to repressurize if I shut these doors of course there we go I'm planning to do it like an airlock thing where you have to wait for it to depressurize, but I just can't be fucked. These should have started pressurizing. Ah, there they go. So now it's pressurizing the base. Well, some of you are going, oh, come on, get on with it. Where's it coming from? Well, it's coming from the process interchange. Remember to pressurize. I forgot to. In here is all of my crap that I use to keep myself alive. Three refineries four oxygen generators which are linked to its own thing because this uh, this large how is this this is a large cargo container this is the 
intake for everything. So if I mine, it all goes into here first, then it gets sorted out, or goes onto these. And I found a really efficient way of actually loading these up. What you do is this container here, you have three ports out of it, and then you have feeders to the refineries. So it's got two yield, two power. So in other words, it's saving power, but giving me twice the yield. Hopefully that's how it goes anyway. Ice comes out of it, straight into the O2, straight into the back wall, then loops up here. So I've got a nice big storage of hydrogen. Comes in handy if I have to do any mining, because uh, Bird drinks that. And uh, that goes up into the ceiling again and comes down into the oxygen tanks, which feed the main room, which is good battery banks or happy days and as I said uranium is very scarce I've either got to go and destroy that little ship up there and get the uranium out of it or I've literally got to go and find and mine it and if you've noticed all the little blue pits floating around I have been on this for a while and uh, yep this is all the stuff I've found the only thing I've found I think it was like two asteroids with with gold that's it uh, lots and lots of ice cobalt and a respawn pod somewhere Ooh, I might actually have some uranium on it I might go for that but uh, yeah all my assemblers are in the rooftop they've all got speed attached two power and two speed I believe yeah those automatically feed back in here so the refineries dump everything into this container here as you can see nothing but uran you Ooh, uranium I might use that in a moment Depending on my power situation. Doesn't seem too bad actually in all fairness. So, all my ores and stuff get dumped into here. It goes up the tube to the assemblers and then comes all the way back to this one again. So this conveyor belt here literally takes it through the through the yeah, through the ingots and deposits it in here. This one's almost full. And uh, I'll get to why I said I'll show you the big ring thing in a minute. This automatically feeds the nanites which seems to be on downtime at the minute because um, let's face it everything's repaired everything's done um, I don't plan on using this hanger too much today but I might do some designing because if I design in here I can build out there so let's go and have a look so as I s oh, you, you close stay closed right anyway out we go blast compression so if I go up here I've got my second weapons platform. This one's basically just spots in ships, and oh, I can't seem to shoot this thing. But well, anyway, you haven't, if you haven't noticed already, there is a big fecking ring. Look at this. That took five hours, forty-six minutes to build, and that was being done by the nanites. Probably would have been done quicker by me, but it was an absolute arsehole. So um, I'll show you how I got this ring, and I might just upload it. And here we have it, a moon-sized object. This thing is absolutely flipping huge. And this is a potentially attempt one, trying to split it in half. And trust me, there are multiple attempts on trying to split this thing in half. <laughs> So sad. I see him dying. <laughs> Run, go! Holy shit! Yeah! 
Nope. Okay, so eventually I got it split in half, and for your view, they're there. See, if I can get my words out, you don't understand it. For your view, oh, f it. here's a time lapse with a band I've contacted to get their music. Listen to them, they're absolutely fantastic. <laughs>
So there you go. That was uh, Broken Empire. Watch it burn. I thoroughly bloody enjoy that. That was a good. Uh, that was a good night out when I watched that at the Roadbender. So, if you liked what you see, do us a favour. Hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. Hey, it's all good. It's all likes and dislikes. But hopefully, you hit the dislike button. Uh, what am I saying? Hopefully, <laughs> brain fart. Hopefully, you enjoyed this. I'm I'm enjoying recording it. And let's face it, what else have I got to do? So, next thing, next time, we're gonna pull this thing away from the station and then start arming it. But I've got a feeling I need to stick some support structures in the centre first, and I might go and pick on that. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you're going to watch it again next episode, I might even just split the atom using a toaster and a AAA battery. <laughs> Why not? But I really do need to go out and find some ore. Mm. I think I'll decide on my priorities. But this ring needs to come away and needs to get armed and stuff. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.